1969, NASA returned from the moon with a capsule, the existence of which had been kept secret to the very day. Inside the capsule, fragments of a diary were found, describing the findings of an intergalactic expedition. I happened to get hold of a copy, and here are the most interesting parts. Day one of our expedition to planet X. Our spaceship on, landed on an ocean not far away from the shore. Hundreds of creatures, shaped like jellyfish and gleaming in the most extraordinary of colors, were welcoming us. We decided to begin the inspection, surveying and mapping of the close by surrounding as a basis for further investigations. On the beach, we discovered several peculiar creatures, some of them glowing in mystical colors. Most likely these creatures had been catapulted from the sea during a heavy storm. We took a few samples for further analysis and returned to the base. Day five. To the southwest beneath us lay the sea. There were neither breakers nor waves as there was no breeze at all. On the beach we discovered a strange structure reminding us of the empty remains of cocoons out of which a myriad of unknown creatures might have just hatched. This structure sent out pulsating light of all the colors of the rainbow. Hence we called these entities luminoids and this planet Lumea. The sky was violet, loosened like an amethyst. All over the beach, the most colorful, jelly-like luminoids emerged from the sea. They appeared to communicate with each other via light pulses. Together we approached these peculiar creatures. We were surprised that the planet seemed to be inhabited only by quite primitive organisms. There were no signs of intelligence. The marine biologist remarked that nature's principle of perpetual change, danger and suppression was the prerequisite for the development of more advanced creatures. An organism living in peaceful coexistence with its surrounding has no need to evolve. Intelligence will emerge only if habit or instinct no longer in, are no longer enough. In a perfect paradise, devoid of predators, devoid of war, intelligence is not necessary. We were wondering whether this planet was such a perfect paradise we have always been longing for. Day 12. Soon we were standing in front of monstrous polypus creatures. The head of the expedition was barely able to prevent the marine biologist from touching one of the tentacles. The biologist replied that evolution often seems to generate structures that appear to be dangerous, yet are in fact absolutely harmless. At the edge of the cliff, we found some more beings shaped like flowers in full blossom. The petals seemed to consist of the same rubber-like tissue as all the other creatures we'd seen. This assumption was confirmed later on by detailed examination at the lab. Just a few miles away, we discovered huge structures resembling giant hogweed. The inner of the blossom was filled with translucent beetlets was emitted a fascinating orange light. Day 21. We approached one of these gigantic flower-like entities. The botanist picked up a bean-sized piece of rock and threw it against the blossom, which answered with a moaning full of joy. Suddenly we were surrounded by a cloud of sweet perfume. Day 24. The stream was creeping through yellowish greenness. A multitude of shimmering orange flower-like luminoids were lining its bank, 
sparkling in the sun. We crossed the watercourse and proceeded through the brushwood. We spotted some beautiful flowers floating on the surface of a pond. Surprisingly, they didn't seem to be fixed by roots. This gave rise to the question how these creatures fed themselves, and we concluded that the only source of life must be the energy of light. Day 28. We were attracted by a mystic blue shimmering. We struggled to get closer as the brush was extremely tight. All of a sudden, we were facing a flower-like creature surrounded by thousands of flying insects and immersed in fluorescent light. From a distance, they appeared to us like green nests of birds, less due to their looks, but rather due to the fact that our eyes constantly try to discover something familiar within the alien structures. Day 34. We climbed to the top of the hill. Beneath us, the abyss of a canyon appeared. We were enchained by the sight of shimmering blue, cocoon-like creatures that sent out a vibrant, pulsating red light when we were walking past. At the edge of the canyon, we discovered more luminous creatures shaped like cacti. They were facing us with their huge stomata that reminded us of the throat of a lion. Were they dangerous or were they just trying to get in contact with us? For more information about the creatures found on this expedition, go to www.lichtwesens.de. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>